Breaking headline from North Korea overnight threatening a preemptive nuclear strike against the United States hours ahead of a vote today by the United Nations over sanctions. ABC's John Carl tracking the latest from the White House plus that headline on the president's charm offensive to get a budget deal. Good morning, John. Let's start with North Korea. The war of words really escalating. It sure did, George. But, you know, as crazy as these threats are, the White House really views it as more of the same. We've heard threats like this from North Korea before. Just a few minutes ago, I was in touch with White House Press Secretary Jay Carney. His reaction to this was, quote, provocative rhetoric and actions won't bring North Korea closer to an end to sanctions, only compliance with its international obligations under the U.N. Security Council resolutions will. So the bottom line from the White House is they are very much moving forward with supporting those sanctions today at the U.N keeping the pressure up on North Korea and in no way deterred by this latest threat. Also moving forward to the reach out to Republicans right now, the president bought dinner for those Senate Republicans last night. You know, sort of just a baby step, but everybody came out very happy. Will it make a big difference on a budget deal? Yeah, but check this out, George. Not only did he have dinner last night with those 12 Republican senators, he's having lunch today with Congressman Paul Ryan, uh, of course, the chairman of the Budget Committee, the Republican vice presidential candidate, and really the White House's prime nemesis on budget issues for the last several years. This is the most sustained uh, charm offensive or Operation Icebreaker, whatever you want to call it, that the White House has pursued since the opening months of the president's of the Obama presidency. There's not a lot of hope for a big breakthrough, but the president's making one a major effort here to try to get something moving.